Hello and welcome to the Prodocio IT YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the new Avaya 1X. First thing you'll notice, it's gray instead of red. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to make a call. First thing you'll notice, uh, it's going to come up like this. You only have to do this one time. So we have to go to change login settings. Where it says extension, that's actually your station ID, not your agent number. So your station ID would go into here. Password is the same, 1000. Now this is a little different. The agent, your extension, has a password where before it didn't. So again, it's gonna be the same, it's gonna be 1000. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and click on save. Let me move that up so you can see. Save settings and log in. This is gonna start up, you're gonna see this and you'll hear three beeps in your ear. And you're gonna see this coming up saying, please wait while agent logs in. There, after it's in, you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner, it's got your station ID and your extension both on there. And then from here, you would log in as you normally would to the uh, buy a rich client, starting by opening up Internet Explorer. If you don't see Internet Explorer on your toolbar, just click over here to search, type the word Internet, Internet Explorer app. Let me minimize this. Go to the intranet, either AIU or CTU intranet. Click on the admissions tab and wait for the Avaya rich agent to come up. Now just remember on the one X portion again, you only have to do that setup once. The next time you go into it, only thing you have to do is click login. While this comes up again, just like it was before, agent and your station ID. Now you're gonna receive the object is in a bad state. This is normal. You have to do this twice. So click okay. Wait for the error, object in bad state. Hit yes to retry and then it will log you in as normal. To make a call, you can do the other way. You know, the normal way, click on initiate and uh, make your call. Just remember you have to use nine, one, and the uh, uh, full phone number, or in here, if you use this portion and type the number, you don't have to use the nine. You just click on the one, like one, Eight four seven five 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 five. But if you use the initiate, you have to make sure you have the nine one. Also, if you use the dial pad right over here, dial pad, it's going to look like this. You have to use nine one eight four seven blah 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 blah. Now, the next thing you have to do is. Uh, Make sure you aux in. To aux in, you can either use the controls down here as you would before, or this is a little bit different. You can click over here on the yellow, change agent state. And you can click on ready. Once you click on ready, you're in the queue. And it'll turn green and it'll say ready. And when you're ready to aux out, click on auxiliary, and then you have to choose a number. So it doesn't matter which number, just make sure you choose a number. Um, that's up to your manager if they are particular, if they want you to make sure you're using the aux codes as they're labeled, you know, lunch, restroom break, meeting, anything like that. And it's that simple. 
please make sure you check out the other video for the new Avaya rich client and how to, or I'm sorry, 1X, and how to make transfers and conferencing. Thanks and take care.